all right that should be the last thing to reach level 30 let's go what is up guys and friends welcome to another Wuthering waves video on my channel so as you can see i did manage to reach level 30 before the end of the week probably you will see this video after the reset but i really wanted to push to level 30 before the end of the week so Probably the only proof that I can show you is the date on my PC. So as you can see here today is still the 26th, 2024. Um, that's like the only proof that I have. I didn't use any refills at all. So I didn't. Um, so everything that I did was only through story and through exploration. I have to do some kind of exploration. So I just can zoom out the map. Uh, it's not too much actually. So this was the most part, 82%. But as you can see, this is only like uh, through the normal walkthrough. I unlocked all teleporters and stuff. This has 36. So pretty much I completed this map and then I moved over to this so that I don't have to um, look up things or uh, waste any time because I wanted to reach this as fast as possible. And as you can see, I also still have 70 wave plates left. Um, the thing how I managed to do this is that uh, you have to do all your quests. Uh, do as much side quest as possible, do as much exploration as possible, always use your wave plate so you increase your um, union level a little bit faster and that's how we can reach the rank 4 of the SOL 3 phase which is equal to the adventure rank in Genshin or um, in Honkai Star Rail. So yeah, you can like increase your drops for certain things which I think is very very important. Um, I just wanted to do that. So, uh, so that I can do the weekly boss this week. Um, I don't even know if the there is an increase for the weekly bosses. Uh, but I didn't do them. Is this one? No, this is not one of the weekly bosses. Uh, this is one of them. Yeah, I pretty much just wanted to um, do these. I will do them um, now. And for those, I will also have to use the refill. So... I still have 13 of the crystal solvents. I also don't use any asteroids to refill. I used asteroids to summon. Um, I did like three multis on this manner. So um, you can um, add like 4,800 more asteroids that I have, which is uh, around 9,000 asteroids plus the 20 um, radiantites that I have here. So I, and I didn't even do everything. So there's still a lot more to do. And I had like 9,000 asteroids and I just used them to build up a little bit of a pity on the limited banner and drew for Mortify. And for this banner, I only, of course, used the Lustrous Tides. Um, for this banner, I also only used the Forging Tides to build up a little bit of pity because I wanted to have that weapon for my Jianshin. Uh, but other than that, I never use asteroids for anything so far besides the three multi summons. So yeah, it is definitely doable to reach level 30 by the end of the week. It is definitely um, possible to reach level 30 like in three days. So I started game one when the server went live and I played every day since then. Um, yeah, maybe I will just showcase you guys what I use now. So I use the Havoc since day one. Uh, not the Havoc, the Rover, the Havoc Rover I use at the moment, but I also used the Spectral Rover before already. But I do think that I will uh, replace him with another character, even though I kind of enjoy him, but you only have three slots. The character that I picked for me is Yanshin, and this is the character that I try and want to main uh, for the next time. And my healer is Baiji. I uh, decided against Verena in my selector summon ticket and I put it the waifu over the meta yes other than that I also enjoyed uh, using Senna you do need nine you do need to build up nine characters anyway for the end game content so I'm currently um, building up a couple of them already but I'm focusing on the main team which is Jianshin second slot I don't know could be cultural that is in this banner but i'm not too sure if i want to have him maybe i will swap to verena because you can swap this at any time also the pity won't change so i don't know if you noticed that uh, you can um, swap the beginner's choice banner after your beginner's ba um, summons you can swap them at any time that you want to yeah uh, i just wanted to show you guys that that it is possible to reach level 30 without uh, refilling anything what do i get here actually I got a level bundle with 
five lustrous tides let's go yeah so because i just reached level 30 you get another five pool how many pools do i have now oh i have 11 do we try this now do we try this now live on the video here i'm not too sure because i'm not sure if i want to have verena or want to have colcharo Actually, I think I use Verena so that I can pair her with my Jianchen, okay? I think I think we do this now. Live on the video after reaching level 30. Okay, it's not Verena. So again, I have another uh, I have another three multis to the side. I would be really happy about a four-star weapon that I can use on my Jianchen. Another Motefi? Another modify? Yo! A four-star weapon! Wait a minute. Comet flare. Okay. Oh, un unfortunate. Unfortunately, I cannot use it. But I have had two forces. Really good. It is really good. Okay. Yeah. Um. As I said, this was like everything that I wanted to share. Pretty much that you that it is very. The game is very very generous. And as you can see, I still have a lot of exploration to do. Uh, there are all other fights that I still can do to um increase my level. But here I definitely think um, it will be a little bit harder now. Not too hard, I think. But the progress will slow down after level 30. And yeah, I'm really happy that I reached level 30 after three days. And just wanted to share you guys, uh, with you guys like the characters that I have. Um, maybe I will show you guys the build. So I, I really don't have anything crazy here. I, Jianchen, I just got today. So I just use her like for three hours now. But uh, on the other two days, I played with the other characters. So this is only level 40. As you can see, nothing here. Just rand like random echoes. Um, this is all level 1 besides the old. I just started to level that, that up. No, no dupes at all. For him, I have a 4-star weapon, which I leveled up to level 50, which was my only 4-star weapon during the last days. So again, random echoes, everything at level 1. So I really just used minimal effort. She's only even level 42. She has a level 1 weapon. Like again, random echoes. Uh, I have one dupe of her because I pulled one of theirs. Um, also, Senwa, I just leveled, leveled her up yesterday. That's what she had. Also, everything just at level 1. Then Lingying, I also used the first two days. He currently has nothing because I gave everything to Jianchen at the moment. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that I will stop using him. I didn't enjoy him too much. Um, so he was just a... Um, she was just a filler unit. Uh, you have her because you have her at the beginning all, all other units. I didn't level it up yet. I definitely think that I will use Mortify in the future. Uh, but for now, I want to build a, a team around Giancha and see how far I can get with this off-meta pick. Uh, and then we'll see um, what I need to build to clear like endgame content. So sorry guys, there was one small thing that I forgot to mention why you would want to reach level 30 or I, I would want to reach level 30 that quick. But this is not in relation to reaching level 30 before the end of the week or before the reset. This just uh, is if you reach level 30 at any time because farming echoes is limitless. So don't worry. Um, you're not behind if you don't reach level 30 by the end of the week. But at level 30, you can get your data bank up to level 15. And starting from level 15, you'll have a 30% chance to drop 5 star echoes which will be very, very important for you. So I think this is the, the most important milestone that you want to have. And that is the reason why I would as well wanted to reach level 30 as quick as possible to increase those rewards. But as I said, again, this is not in relation to um, reaching level 30 by the end of the week before the reset or something. Um, as soon as you reach level 30, you'll be able to level up your data bank to level 15, which I didn't do yet. I have to do it now. And then I will also be able to drop 5-star Echoes. Yeah, uh, with that being said, that's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Definitely subscribe for more um, gacha game content, for more of the Ring Waves content. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.